Hey guys, it's Brian at Sign Me Up Designs again, and today we're going to be having a little bit of fun with this American Landmaster trail wagon. So I picked up this little buggy from my neighbor for really cheap, had to put a carburetor on it, had to put a gas tank on it, it set outside and it was rusted really bad. So I kind of brought it back to life and it's been a really fun little buggy, but there's one problem with it. When you're going down the road, it's really loud. So normally a loud buggy really isn't a big deal, but you know, if you're taking it on the trails or taking it out in the woods, it's not a big deal, but I'm gonna take it through my neighborhood, maybe up to the grocery store, and I'm really just trying to get it quieted down just a little bit to where I'm not causing too much ruckus in a neighborhood. So just a quick little backstory. These things are powered by a little nine horsepower, the Subaru engine, it's the same engine made by Robin who makes uh, golf cart engines. So I've dealt with a lot of golf cart engines in the past and I've, I've heard some really quiet ones. Um, the only problem is for this particular engine, they don't really sell an exhaust kit that makes a quiet muffler. So today I'm gonna to attempt to make one. Now this thing came with this little heat shield and spark arrestor that you really just kind of place on the top of the thing right here. But we're gonna take this off and I'm, I'm gonna to attempt to reuse the heat shield portion of this thing. The spark arrestor's gotta go, but I'm gonna cut it like right here here maybe, maybe cut this whole front section off, but keep the heat shield just to keep the heat away from the back of the bed. Now one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a before and after decibel meter test too, just to kind of see where we are on the exhaust tone. I think it's gonna be a lot quieter since, you know, obviously we're running two mufflers, two baffles versus just one, but just for science purposes, we're gonna do this as well. So here's the idea that I have. I have this drag specialties two and a half inch baffle. There's the part number right there if you need it. I had this left over uh, from a project that it didn't work on and it's like a I think it's like a six or eight inch baffle it's pretty long um, and then I've actually got some scrap exhaust tubing from I forget what it was but it's just two and a half inch uh, OD exhaust tubing you can get it from any auto parts store um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here and kind of make like a dump pipe I'll kind of show, I'll show you what I'm talking about so my theory on why this thing is so loud is because the exhaust comes out right here and just goes straight back so it has all this stuff to resonate off of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize the factory muffler that came with it and I'm going to attempt to rig up some sort of pipe system that comes straight out kind of like this and then dumps down at the back bottom end of the buggy so to do that I need to extend this pipe out just a little bit more and I'm gonna weld these two pipes together and I'm gonna insert this baffle in between just like that. All right, so here's what we're working with here. We've got this exhaust and you can see it's got like a little, I guess where it's mated together or something, I guess that's what that is, I don't know, but I don't wanna disrupt any of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pipe whenever I get it cut and I'm gonna notch here and here on the other side. think about this earlier but this is actually uh, a slip-on exhaust pipe so I can actually use this and just slip it on maybe do a couple tacks around there maybe do a full bead we'll see so this exhaust I, I just cut a couple notches in there and I'm actually gonna slip it on just like that to where uh, where it forms a nice little kind of exhaust pipe right out of here but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned off get it prepped and start welding with the old handy MIG welder <laughs> So here's the final product here. Um, you know, these welds are pretty good for an old MIG welder. It ain't too bad. I never claimed to be a professional welder, but they look pretty decent. I'm happy with them for the project that it's going on. So that's it. Uh, now we're going to put it on, see what it sounds like. Um, but before I do that, I might modify the heat shield to go around here. Nailed it. All right, so got the heat shield modified, got it painted up, got the exhaust painted up because, you know, why not? And I did the right thing and didn't take any of the rust off and just sprayed right over it. But anyway, it turned out pretty good. If it's one way to make your welds look a lot better, it's just paint over them so nobody really notices. Pro tip. Also, that's the original gas tank that came out of that thing. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a hole rusted all the way. Well, this hole's going through too, but there's a hole at the bottom as well leaking fuel out, so that tank was bad. So here's the final product, guys. It turned out really good for the time and money that I have into it. All in all, I've got about, I don't know, I think I paid like 13 bucks for that baffle. The exhaust pipe was left over from a different job, so I just kind of made that work. But I'm really happy with the results. 
it looks like one of those, I don't know if y'all are familiar with them, but the Carolina squat trucks that have the really big exhaust tip that shouldn't be on the truck that it's on. But I don't care. It's just a little fun toy that I play with on the weekends sometimes. But anyway, I'm really happy with the results and I think it turned out pretty cool. So it's kind of weird. On the meter it showed about 70 decibels idle and then about 95 decibels when you revved it up. And that was from before and after we did this exhaust. But I can definitely tell a difference. And what, what you didn't see off camera is that before I even did this, I was kind of just sliding that pipe off and on with the baffle inside of it. And there was a noticeable tone difference that you really can't hear a difference. So I'm going to take this thing for a little ride and see how it does. So just took this thing for a ride and it is significantly quieter. Now I think most of that has to do with, obviously a little bit has to do with the baffle, but I think most of it has to do with the way the pipe is extended back and out the back versus right there underneath the bed, just kind of shaking and resonating off of everything. Either way, decibel meter aside, I really am happy with the results for this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun for me to do, fun little Sunday project. So that's it for this episode, guys. If you haven't followed me on Instagram already, follow me. It's the underscore Brian Rogers. I usually post to Instagram before I post to YouTube so you can get kind of a heads up on what's coming up. If you like this video, take a second, just hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing if you like cool stuff like this or if you like cool motorcycles and stuff like this. I'm always doing different projects and having fun with motorcycles and power sports and things like that. So thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.